Hey guys, PC Max Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to test a power supply to see if it's bad or not. Some things that you'll need are um, a fan or two that has Molex connectors for a power supply. As you can see, my fans here. You'll also need a paper clip bent in a U shape like this. And of course, you'll need the power supply to test. One thing that you want to make sure whenever you're testing a power supply is that it, the switch is on the O for off. And you want to make sure that your voltage is set right for your country. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, I don't know if I can get this to focus or not. Anyways, um, it's currently on 115 right now. And that is for the United States, but if you were in Europe or something, you would want to push it up and that would put you on 230 volts um, it also depends on the power supply but generally if you're in the US you want the lower number now that you've made sure that your power supply is turned off plug in the wall connector now that that's done you want to plug in your fans It also helps if you have the Molex connector turned the right way. Plugging in fans helps put load on the power supply so that way it's drawing energy. Now for the part with the paper clip. You want to look at the 20 pin connector on here and find the green wire right there. And you want to put the paper clip in one of the ends of the paper clip in the green wire. And then you want to put the other end on a black wire. This will ground it. And uh, the green wire is like basically the power on wire. And if you short it with a ground wire, it will turn the power supply on without having it connected to the motherboard. So there we go, I have it plugged in. And now that we've got it all set up, we want to flip the switch on the back. And as you can see, our fans are turned on and are spinning. And the power supply fan is also spinning. So there you go, the power supply works. You can also test the voltage of the power supply with a digital multimeter. And uh, to do that, you want to look at the oh, you want to look at the 20 pin connector and find the yellow wire, which is the 12 volt rail, and plug in the red one into that, and then plug in the black one to another black one or ground, and then set your digital multimeter to 20 volts. And there we go, it's getting 11.8889, which is close enough to 12. You can also plug it in, the red one, into the red wire, which is the 5 volt rail. And uh, let me see if I can plug this in for you guys. Hold on a second. And, uh, as you can see, it's reading 5.12 volts. Um, so, yeah, that's how you test the power supply and test the voltage. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, tell me what you thought about it, and subscribe for more.